What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here for the Gen V finale. I'm yes. so excited. John, how are you? Generating vicious excitement, Greg. Coy. Generally, vaguely, voraciously congenial. Oh, nice. Gregory. Hey. Hey. That's all it took. Gen G. Gen Greg G. Valba. <laughs> Well, it looks like. <laughs> and uh, hey, Jeff. <laughs> thank you to all who have joined us on this journey. It means a lot. Full interaction watch lines where you sync with your own copy of Gen V. That is available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have joined us for the show alone, but we got our shows recovering like Loki and Invincible coming up too. Lastly, thank you to all who have also bought America's Ass t shirt. That means a lot. Saw them sales coming in. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Love this tea. Thank you to Pepper Fellow Side of those highlights. That's the real last thing. Let's do it. Let's do this. <gasps> Pick it up right where we left off. Kate, holy shit. She killed the guy. We all killed someone. She's crazy. Can we help her? What happened? Oh, no. Guys, stop no. having thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you murdered her. Marie, I did this for you. <laughs> I did this for all of you. Yeah, guys. I'm Team Kate. <laughs> I want to be a hero, too. Oh, Ooh, the brainwashing just goes around. I'm not an experiment. What are you going to do, Kate? Bring it all down. We are going to free the woods. Sam, don't go with yeah. her. Yeah. If they find out what happened here, I'm not going to be the only one they torture. Yep. Maybe it's time for me to save you. No. The Brotherhood of Evil Mutants is forming. You can beat me. But do you really think you can beat him? Oh, now she's got muscle. Oh, this is heavy duck. I can't wait to rewatch all of this right before the boys, like as a unit, because there's right. so much I probably missed and like nuance of this arcs for each of them is so genius. Who are you calling? Campus security emergency line. Oh, good. Yeah, they'll probably solve yeah. all the problems. <laughs> Campus security to the <laughs> rescue. <laughs> Call the cops. Come on. So what? We just sit here? No, we stop them. Oh, my. No, guys. Oh, what a dilemma, though. I mean, these are, you know, crimes against humanity we're talking about, but at the same time. <laughs> I like that it looks like he's the one trapped. Yeah. That's a cool shot. Good pick up on nuance there, Koi. Appreciate you being here. You've earned your pay. Yes. Cinematography. <laughs> Sometimes I got to point out the duality. <laughs> we believe every time your father uses his powers, something like a micro tear occurs in the neural pathways. I mm, wonder if that's happening to him. Can we reverse or, or brighten those areas with like some medicine? Reverse the polarity. Can we bring the highlights up on this? Brain medicine? We can mitigate or slow, not reverse. Have you experienced any lightheadedness or spots in your peripheral vision? Uh, me? <laughs> oh. Uncontrollable tick in the ring or pinky finger of your left hand? No, no. I, I, I mean, may, maybe, maybe lightheadedness, but that's so specific. That's scary. Can we, can we focus on my dad? I mean, I just. Oh, just, no. sorry, it's just yeah. a lot. I just. What a reaction! He's got to process what it's doing to him, but he's also got to process what it's doing to his dad. Damn, great performance. Anti-seizure medicine and no more using powers. Oh, that's a bunch of bullshit! Damn. Can we just give him more V? Go through my phone. The contacts for Heather are in there. <laughs> Heather, Heather PR or wardrobe? Wardrobe. Oh, no. I'll get the doctor. So the polarity costume fits you. Aww. Our powers, they're killing. You're the big man now. Oh, he knows. You won't hear him. You follow the straight and narrow. Do whatever they tell you. No one gets through life without regrets. But goddamn, I don't regret being able to take care of my family. And I know you're going to do the same. This is touching. You have to. Your family's counting on you. To define your own path, man. Someone has to save this place. All right, I don't know where the f Hey! Is. Yeah! What's up, Ashley? We need a big distraction. Let's send someone straight to the seven. Let's just go in order. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> just look at the actual headshots. Good. Additional skills. British accent. <laughs> oh, he's actually British. He's British in real life. <laughs> oh, I love that. His on-screen skin color test read a bit dark. They'll get any fucking Leibowitz to shoot him <gasps> in racist shit. <laughs> <laughs> Called out. Oh, the Eddie Leibowitz joke. I hope one of those was the casting director. Like the real one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 it's going to be Sam in the suit. Oh, damn. They are straight up breaking into here. Greg? I'm Bob. Oh. Oh, God. No. No. 
Yeah, Sweet buddy. Bye, Bob. We're an effective gory gag without being that gory. Yeah. Always got love Corey. Got Corey. Like That's his tongue. I think that was his tongue. <laughs> now carve a happy face. Okay. Such good Solid. Emma Frost vibes. They keep growing. Solid editing all around. <laughs> Great shadows. Cool. Bam. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler, yeah. This feels more X-Men than ever. Yeah, it really does. Beating the MCU to it. When's the last time you saw sunlight? Is Gangnam Style still a thing? <laughs> Let's go outside. <laughs> we'll do a flash mob just for you. She's Ooh. a leader. Brother leader of mutants. Uh, leader great. of the oppressed. Oh, your old room. What a revolution. Hey, Sam. Oh. Helping soups. Hurting humans. That's what you wanted. I hurt one person once, and I killed myself from guilt. Sam, your brain is good at this whole uh, giving your brother a care card. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Killing the arc post -mortem. It's in their genes. <laughs> you yourself, leaving me in this shell. I love the angel on her shoulder being a guy that looks like angel. Sam. <laughs> yep. Sam. And conscience locked in. Andy. They got him sick on purpose. Andy Dwight. This is what they do. This school thought they could torture you. Oh, I love this sinister music. But you're not inferior. You are superior to them. And it's time we showed it. Supervillain team. Put all the humans in a but woods not, like facility. She, there is like Magneto vibes to her. Oh. The anti monster. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Bite the hand you feed with. I love this song. Uh, Another take, TikTok boy. Yeah, you got to get the timing. Oh, my. Excuse me. God. Hey, excuse me. Hello. It's Gundam stuff. I'm recording a reaction video. Now I gotta listen to fucking Desperado all over again. Are you it's a suit? reaction? No shit, asshole. <laughs> I gotta find a normie to get my aggression out on. Are you a soup? No, I'm an adjunct professor marketing. Wow, dude. Oh god. Of course. Now that's a reaction video. <laughs> <laughs> no crutches, no cast, legs finally healed. Oh, man. Oh, hot he's Jeff Summer. Getting messed up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Godolkin's crumbling. Oh. Damn. There's more than one. All units after protocol. Ugh. Oh, this is a mess. I love the fear of this. Whoa. Oh. You're safer inside, dummy. Whoa! Damn. Ghost Rider. Now does one of the seven come to help? My cover's blown. I think our rehab might be unlocked. Let's do a live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Uprising. I'm proposing number 27. Maverick. Jesus. Who better to replace Translucent than Translucent's son? <laughs> Oh, of course, of course. There you go. Didn't they establish he has a son in this first I think season? They did. Yeah. He's gonna blow his own head off, isn't he? When the oppressed become this? the oppressors. This is awesome. I love watching them get their due. Eat it now. Oh, hell yeah. Yep. All men and women were created equal. If this is going to... <laughs> the freaking director. <laughs> oh. We have to first get through dusk. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, my man. No, no. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Those glasses. To compliment your director without explicitly saying, hey, I love you. I'm a needy little shit. Please give me the job. No, you do it through the work. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. Is oh, he about he's to die? die? That is not it. Josh Hartnett has more stage presence than oh. this man here. And I can say that Ouch. because we are close person. Oh, yeah. He hasn't seen Oppenheimer. They can't kill this guy. They're gonna. The okay. boys' ramifications. Oh. This universe needs him. Yeah, you just can't kill willy-nilly, man. What are you thinking? 
Why are you here? Because you're here. So what? So we. The distance between them here. And that she's small. Emma, it's my choice. Yeah, but Sam, you don't want to hurt people. People hurt me. Hurt people, hurt people. It's like they're doing a scene on stage. Yeah, <laughs> the breakup on stage. <laughs> this is what normal looks like when you've had my f***ing life. That's agony right there. You know, while you were worrying about, oh, maybe starring in a reality TV show, I was having a needle. Okay, that is not what I meant. No. What a crumble. You want what is best for you. Nah, she wants what's best for you, too. He just can't possibly see that. I risked everything for you. I killed Emma, for you. you would do anything for everyone to like you. Oof. You're not a hero. God damn, dude. You don't mean that. Oh, poor girl. Get small, go through his ears. Yeah, now he's definitely a villain. That was that was cold. cold as hell. And that's so every one of her weaknesses, like yeah. from someone she cares about versus just some stranger. She's that's getting awful. small. Oh. She's getting small. What the? F wow. Oh, I wonder if when she feels small, I wonder yeah. if she can control it now. <gasps> yeah, I think it's just a physical manifestation of what's happened. To her, because she'd also being. probably feel insignificant and small if she's making herself throw up and she feels bad about it. Like maybe it was more mental than she realized. That's the way yeah. for her brain to feel. I freed the woods. Shetty's dead. What did you do, Kate? It's not too late. Come be with me. I love you. We can be together. Ugh. She is so manipulative. Stomach has been in knots this whole time. I mean, there's a lot of confusion of choices. What's happening? Is this right? Holding humans accountable. Killing innocent people. Well, are, are some of these people innocent? Devil and angel. Mm -hmm. Do you want my help? Sam, listen to me. Who's actually you imagining me? <laughs> you are not defined by what's happened to you. You are what you do. It's not who I am underneath. <laughs> but what, what I, I do, do that defines me. I love you. But you said you were me. But he doesn't love him. And trust me. Yeah, he doesn't trust himself, so that wouldn't... I hate myself. Exactly, he doesn't oh. love himself. Sam, do you want my help? Oh. Yeah. Ugh. Feel nothing. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, oh, act that's without bad. guilt. Yeah, just power and no ramifications. The freedom! <laughs> <laughs> Amorality! <laughs> feels like nothing, but it also feels good. If I could do things without guilt and without ego, I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> Absolution. Oh my god, evil Cyclops. <laughs> yes. Ugh. Okay. This is a full-on massacre. Yeah, this is awful. On what a is school campus, too, I just kind of clicked my brain. Very, very here and now. Way to take the fun out of the massacre, John. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't mean it. Go back to enjoying your carnage. <laughs> Wow, what a great Check shot to that. stop out yeah, with a whole planner pose right over her. Watch her hover and over her. Who's coming in? Because you'd have to have a failsafe on that campus, I imagine. Ugh. Ugh. We should ask. I break the f***ing I swear to God, I thought I was going to die. Calm down. Just breathe. Shake it out. Muppet arms. Holy f***. You it's cannot just the control. Soups. All the humans are okay. Something's going on. Yeah. Go Banshee. Siren. Like Black Canary. Yeah, these people are done. Now they know the source of... Find Homelander. Radio the helicopter now. Go. Yeah. All right, everyone grab one and make a call oh right my. now. Whoever kills these rogue soups gets in the set. <laughs> wow. <laughs> call one right now. Jesus. We are considering you for the seven. Congratulations. We're so excited. We just need you to take out some uh, escaped um, students. Cancel them. Cancel them from planet Earth. <laughs> Cancel, Cancel them. them. Planet Earth. What a choice of words. You do this, and I will get you a meeting with your sister. Oh, my God. Whoa, dude. Oh, my God. Moment of choice. Wow. Now that is complex. <laughs> oh, wow. This man. is very this well is not structured. They're landing well. every single end of arc. Kate, stop! Oh, my goodness. Good luck, X-Men. This is killing it. There we oh, go, buddy. There, there we go. With his dad's statue right there. He's made the oh, choice. Oh, yeah. 
This is like if the mutants decided just to go yeah. after all the humans. <laughs> yeah. This is X Men issue one. Like this is incredible. Jesus, Kate. How are you pushing so much? Shetty's medication. I thought she was helping me. They're suppressing. They want me to kill you. Is that what you're gonna do? Of course not. Kate, shit. Aw, oh, dude. Vaught about kill. Stop her. You got it. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. She's like, kill Grave on crack. Stop her. I got this. Wow. Blood of Cover her in blood. It took them three days to choreograph this. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Statues posted. <laughs> Yeah, you can sense. I love how she's framed between those two statues. Yeah, right now. as she's ascending to that level. Earn your place in the seven. Whoa, cool. Cardio vision. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we actually see him. We need to get everybody back inside right now. Man, the whole school is burning down. Get to the helicopter. Ground is fucking enclosed. Get in. Do you want to stay here? No. 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 What a solid back and forth that was. Whenever either one of us does something on their own, she gets screwed up big time. But I know we do some amazing shit together. Whatever's happening right now, let's just let's just figure it out, both of us. You're gonna have to be fugitives, man. There's no rebounding. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, dude, do not dude, touch her dude, hand. Dude, dude. Be smart. Come on. He hasn't been smart in a bit. I think he's getting okay, smart. Okay, he's getting smart. The dad talk helped. Okay. Oh. Uh, okay. Oof. Oof. Come on. We're, okay. I want giant girl to step in. Yes. Wow. God, it's just a fight of resistance. <laughs> oh. What took Sam so long to just kill him? I just wanted to be a hero. Someone my sister could be proud of, but I don't give a shit. I just want to be a good person. She's grown up, man. You're a product to them. I'm trying to save you. No. Whoa. This is not the path no. of freedom. Come on, Jordan. No. No. Oh, shit. Here it comes. Just that person a cardiac arrest? Yep. The... Oh man, she's gonna be oh, unstoppable. Use, use the blood of yeah. all the fallen. <laughs> Rise. Oh my god, use the your blood trauma as a way to fight back. This is it. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Oh. Blood wow. spears. Wait. Oh, a little. That's choo, great. Choo, 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 choo. Right. I'm putting down my next movie. <laughs> yep. Blood spears for the win. Talk about a way to embrace your trauma and turn it into something to save. <laughs> oh, wow. <sighs> Please don't die. <laughs> don't die. Don't walk in slow. You're Please walking don't die. slow. I'm Please don't die. Slow walks make me nervous. Please don't die. Oh. God damn it. No. No. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> About time. Disarmed. Oh. <laughs> Take off the other one. Oh, there he is. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I'm happy to see Hopelander. This is a weird America conflicting <laughs> I don't know, though. I think this is just going to make things worse. <laughs> kind of animal are you? What a great question. <laughs> what? Do you like attacking your own kind? Of course. Of course. No, I, um... Oh, I'm not happy to see Homelander. Stay back! Yeah. No, there's only one way this is going to go. Oh. <laughs> what? 
Four Gidol He's the cop. went on a brutal murder spree. Oh. Wow. Undoubtedly would have been killed had it not been for the guardians of Godolkin. Excuse me, the new guardians of Godolkin. Kate Dunlap wow. and Sam Reardon. Oh, how evil. All Americans are safer with heroes like Sam and Kate protecting us, our values, and our way of life. Man. The hell? I would have been so conflicted if he was she was dead. <laughs> hey. You're awake. The new woods. What happened? You took that blast like a f champ. Anyone else would be in the ground. But how? But that would mean Homelander held back. There's no doors. Or metal. Where are we? Wow. <laughs> I love that. Homelander just made the choice. They wanted Homelander to go in there and stop people like Kate. Nah. And he just made the choice for them. It's never going to happen. <laughs> oh. Is that Butcher? <laughs> yeah. yeah! Let's go! I said we'd get at least the big two. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh. Big two. Boogie. I'm exhausted. <laughs> They're going to get an expansion on the boys team. I would love it if the this cast gets broken out and then they join the boys. That'd be fucking rad. That's going to be great, man. Because then it just elevates <laughs> the stakes yeah. and the powers. and. Damn. Wow, oh, guys. That was exceptional. Wow. Oh, what a wow. finale. I was he, so worried it couldn't land all the things it needed to. It did. He was such such an asshole. He is such an America's ass, <sighs> yeah. guys. RegenerationShop.com. Hey. Hey. Thank you to all who have been buying tees, uh, supporting the channel in one of the best ways you possibly can. My personal favorite way you can. We got other shirts over there as well, such as our child protection services, our number one seller, proud of the real rejects for that one. Also, Space Babies of the Galaxy, who influences the influencers, Watchmen-inspired, Citizen King, a soda, Snips, and a whole bunch more. Anyone you buy is a great way to support the channel and also look good while doing it. Thank you guys once again. Uh, yes, that was a hell of an episode. It was climactic, exciting, intense, visually composed, from beginning to end, wasn't sure which direction it was going to go. I feel like the talk of this episode is primarily going to be its last couple minutes. But all of it was great. All of it was great. Yeah, it was all great. I love the directions of what where it took most of our characters, uh, especially with watching the this divide that happens with Kate of like, is she a villain? Is she not a villain? I still don't even really view her like a full on villain. I don't. I mean, she's someone who has been scorned, wrong, used, abused in all accounts. And she is fighting like you really do get into the perspective of characters like her and Sam to understand that this is the result of like every, everything here is reactionary. Everything here is consequences of things that have been instilled or thrust upon them. And now you are watching the results of that. So I don't I still sit back. I'm like, yeah, what they did was not the right way of doing it. What they did was not something that I agree with. However, you can understand how it came to be. And I understand how it came to be. And it is awful. And But damn, it is a uh, part of me is like, well, yeah, I mean, they, they kind of got to take, shouldn't be killing innocent people, but fuck. Well, so they don't I get yeah, it. It's like they don't have any benevolent experiences with humans, normal humans to, yeah. you know, think that there's, you know, and, any and like, other kind other than abusive, manipulative, yeah. And they've been trapped long enough, and the, like she said, they see you as a product, and like a lot of them do. Like, that's that's that Brotherhood of Evil Mutants thing. Like, their their perspective is so skewed because they've been ostracized so long. Why would they have any sort of sympathy or empathy? Because they don't see, they, if, if they're not going to see them as the same species, yeah. why should they? Mm. It was just, I think, one of their shortest episodes. Yet. It, was it was just it was, so stacked. It was so dynamic and so intense and fast paced and well edited. Some of those shots were literally X Men shots. Like I, I am very like, all right, good luck, Marvel, because that that was like the, <laughs> the first issue of X Men, if I remember correctly. I think it was like nineteen sixty four. So apologies if I misremember. I haven't read it since I was like ten. But there's uh, Coy was born in nineteen sixty four. Yeah, I look great. Uh, no, <laughs> I, uh, I I haven't reread it. Seventy years old. When I started reading the X Men, I, I went to the very beginning, and I haven't reread the whole run since. But the the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, the cover is like 
Magneto like throwing a missile and I feel like that whole scene with the helicopter and like the way they were using almost magnetism and like them fighting with like a group of different like that all felt like the origin of the X-Men just from the memory of all the powers and stuff and that was so cool to see actualized like My Hero Academia or like you know even the later X-Men movies because even when they made X-Men 1 they couldn't fully have like we didn't have the technology to make something that climactic in 2000. No yeah well you need something that was truly violent because yeah, I mean, normally you get thrusted into the philosophical divide right away between Magneto and Xavier to show the duality of the argument there. Mm-hmm. However, Important. this you're watching the origin of how this all comes to be with them. And this is something that's going to be broadcast and you watch the narrative get controlled via the media right away. The truth gets concealed once again. And just the manipulation i'd love to see it i don't know i just love seeing the evil cunningness it's fiction so i love seeing it i hate it in real life but i love it in tv <laughs> so it's yeah good it's good drama <laughs> it's compelling television man i love watching the crumble of an empire uh, and you you because you're seeing ashley you know panicking in just this terrible fraught situation calling up marie saying i uh, kill them and you, you join the seven, like calling upon her help to execute Kate and Sam and every one of them who has broken out. Homelander shows And then realizing up. that that wouldn't work and throwing the sister in there. Yeah. Like, I love that yeah. beat because it, it gave her the catharsis. We know she's needed the whole season of this isn't about my sister. Like, she needed that exactly. moment and to have it so linearly get, like, thrust upon her. Yeah, they, th- they throw you the character arcs. You see the descent with Kate, the descent with Sam, and the arcs with Marie. You know, I, I love seeing it all. And But I just, I, the decision that they chose to do with Homelander. Oh, to, genius. So not just swoop in and be like, all right, let me put a stop to this. No, he's, he's he, in a position of authority and he's going to side with authority. Like, he it, wants Soups to be the... the the winning to team. be the dominant race. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and like he literally, he says, what he said, what kind of animal are you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a brilliant, yeah. brilliant line to first, his first, his own, his uh, like, he's only got like two lines in this or something, right? Yeah. That's because they clearly, because clearly he was not in the mode of Homelander because he had short scruffy hair that he had in the covenant that Jake Jordan right, right. I was like, that just looks like, uh, what's his name? Just walking around. Like yeah, he just yeah, had yeah. like, so they had to crop. Did you guys notice the frame? His, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like he doesn't have his, his hair normal hair. a little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant because he takes immediate control of the situation. It is the exact opposite of what Ashley was asking for. Yeah. Showing like he's still got the ultimate control, but he's it's still got the ultimate power. And then the media follows the narrative that he wanted it to, um, to follow. And the, the, the landing of the episode ties into what John was saying is like, I didn't put two and two together with like the massacre at the school. And this is, you know, uh, the boys is very much a commentary and the Gen V is as well, but towards a younger audience. And I, I grew up with, you know, the occasional bomb threat and stuff, but we didn't have a school shooting, um, you know, practice All the time. So uh, I feel like that ending with, um, you know, them acknowledging it that way is just such a poignant topical thing right now is that's that's how it would be spun. And, uh, you know, the way Homelander chose to handle it and that that one line of like, you know, the don't move. I mean, how many times have we seen that in videos with certain people being beaten by cops and shit? Like, that's literally like he's the cop of the universe to him. Yeah. Yeah. No, and it's like anybody else shows up, maybe this stops. But Homelander shows up, yeah, this is only going to go one way. And His I way. think that's the perfectly diabolical way to do this because he's not going to come in. And, <laughs> eh, spinoff. Uh, he's not going to be, you know, any kind of salvation to the eyeline for us, to, to the Ashleys and everybody else of the world. And, uh, yeah, like this is one of those rare experiences with TV where, like, I was furious through most of this and like so kind of riled up and mad, but in a way that is still like cathartic and I'm not like, oh, like what a bad episode. You know, it's just like it's that beauty in the drama of, yeah, watching all the pieces fall, watching everyone make their choices and watching everybody, you know, confronted with the stakes beyond, you know, yeah, the personal where, you know, now you're watching all these bonds that we've seen grow and tested rip apart. So, like, mm-hmm. you know, Sam and Emma is heartbreaking. And I think the way that they present all the arguments or even, you know, Kate going back and forth with Andre, Kate and Marie for a hot second. Like, all the debates, however long or short-lived, were really well-pitched. And I like an episode like this that really jumps right to it. It's like, well, we got to stop them from bringing everybody out of the woods. There's not even really any time for that. They get right there. They let everybody out. And then we immediately go into like fights seasoned with debates. Like yeah. every piece of physicality comes with some kind of argument, philosophy, and and 
you know, this encapsulates the chaos of being alive in the real world, too, because so many of the viewpoints are valid. And more than ever in waking life for me, I've come across positions people have where I'm like, I don't agree with this. But knowing anything about how you've lived and and what's happened to you, you know, in isolation, I ex- absolutely get why you feel this way and how you think this way. And I thought they did a really nice job encapsulating that quality. I, I like <laughs> you brought up the, <laughs> I, I like you brought up the philosophy because that's what I think that the the better superhero content does is it gives you a philosophical position for you to think because it's supposed to elevate like the power set, but it's still supposed to be the same human element, but at an 11. And I think that, you know, other perhaps big two superhero making publishers could look at this in their television and go, maybe the finale can be both intelligent and punchy. Well, we talked this, about Dark Horse and Vertigo very comics. Very much. Okay. I think Image, <laughs> Dark Horse, Vertigo, IDW, they can all Those learn things. Those shot <laughs> stories could really be more nuanced. But okay. how many times have we done a reaction where we've really enjoyed the fifth episode because it's the philosophical one, and then the sixth one are like, oh, they had to punch stuff. This was all of the punching, and it was a lot of the big, like, this is an action throwdown between the two powerhouses, between Talking Low Guy and Sam. We got the, you know, her realizing she could use her powers for offense and defense, wow. and we get a literal disarming while we get a slow-mo walkout shot between love interests. You get all of the cliches, but they feel <laughs> like they're actually weighted because there's an emotional and philosophical heft behind them. Instead of choosing one or the other, write it. No, it's, it's not perfunctory heroic action. savior action they've donned the suit <laughs> right, 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 right exactly yeah, there was yeah. no like this is a moment of no. bl- blip like it's actually lost and there's right. no yeah. big punch that's gonna solve all this yeah. Uh, yeah and like no one wins here like the soups didn't get their way and the humans clearly are not in a position of power i love that when there is violence and trauma no one's winning like this isn't a happiness. And well, in yeah. some ways, in some ways, Kate and Sam, even though they are being viewed as the heroes, they're still being controlled under the VOD media. Yeah, and now they're trapped under the you know thumb yeah. of Homelander, which they don't even realize how bad that is yet. And yeah. we know that because of the boys. Yeah, yeah. no one wins. It's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> Instead of the punch them up ending of you know everything is great, space portals or minions, like it's this is really beautiful philosophical quandary. I think and I minions think has great. one of the most underrated endings. What? <laughs> 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 <Back to nerves. laughs> It too, <laughs> it too gets at that thing of like there are always big aspirations and there's always a big plan. We're gonna rewrite the world in this image, and yet even still, at the end, it's still just a turn of the rudder, and yeah. it's like everyone's arguing like, "Hey, we I know this is all messed up, but we can find some better way," and that's a turn of the rudder. But this, you know, Homelander stepping in. You know, and, and, and anointing them the real, you know, media saviors, guardians of Godolkin and all that stuff like that is still kind of reinforcing the status quo that is inching toward this, you know, soup fascist state, you know, and uh, but it's not fully that yet. Whereas like this mass, this, this, you know, uh, uh, situation at the school seems like that's, that's the goal is today here and now we're going to rewrite the balances and everything when really that's not what's happening <laughs> i totally agree and the imagery they used was so genius like that really sterile like news photo and all those things to make it feel like this is just slightly yeah. more that direction and the medium use like this didn't feel like it distracted from the boys ever and at the end i was worried that you know i i thought we'd at least get the big two or more but i like that it didn't suddenly feels like boys season four negative one it gave us a stepping stone like certain other properties used to without it feeling like it robbed us of an ending like that was how you do a post credit scene that's how you have the homelander cameo without it sacrificing the integrity of gen z because mm-hmm. well, now we can do the, 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 the we can open you know him looking around that space or not well and i think it's funny that sam tells off emma you know as as somebody you, you just you do everything that you do so that you can be liked by other people and then immediately goes to be under like the thumb of the poster child for that kind of personality and yeah. like everything you do, like he's standing there in front of the TV, you know, like spinning, you know, masterminding the narrative. And like, this is all to serve his ego and his, yeah. you know, lust for adulation. Uh, well, they keep some of that um, self harm element there uh, still present. It's interesting with Andre because he's just like, damaging his brain by using his powers yeah and then you see with emma that it was more of an emotional thing than it was seemingly like, yeah seemingly i mean she goes through something that makes her feel small and then she goes and 
becomes time. And I do yeah. think that is something of like when she would do that, it was psychologically making her feel not worthy. Yeah. And like that was a really, you know, important. I, I, I thought that was genius. I really dug that. And I'm really curious how, you know, that's going to play. I do think we're going to see these characters in the boys. Is there a counterpoint to when she gets big? It's like if she has just I think like she the just does, best she's not day, self-conscious. Does she get big? Well, she felt most <laughs> confident. Yeah, like yeah. if she's not feeling self-conscious and she feels like she, she can... She full of life. Yeah. Whenever she went big, it was like some... I mean, other heroic than the partying moment. thing, the first time she got big, it was a heroic moment. Yeah, but the, no, but I'm saying like oh, something not big. triggered by food. Yeah, I think yeah. I, I, if she's able to get herself to feel that consciously, I think she'll be able to get big. I, I yeah. think she thinks she needs something externally to achieve it, but she doesn't. And that's what I think we're going to explore season two or in the boys. I could see them having these four characters stay in prison through the season and then we come back to season two with them. I could see all of Gen B season two them just in this one room. We're just hanging it's out. all just hanging out. Seven dollar budget. Talking, solving the problems. <laughs> yeah. Directed by Ryan Johnson. Yeah. It's already the fly shot. comes in. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No powers but we gotta kill this fly. <laughs> if the writing's good I'm in. Uh, yeah. The, and I like I like I liked it all man. I thought it, I thought it was all great. I mean could it probably use a little bit more meat around Jordan uh, you just didn't really get much there. Yeah, not not really a big prominent presence of the episode. And I thought I thought they they were just going to get killed off. I was so worried. I, I love like, the disarming. That was a surprise. God, that was heavy. Yeah. Good violence all throughout. <laughs> Solid violence. Good gore gags. Yeah. No sexual things. No dicks. <laughs> Coitus. About that word. Oh, right. Only, only in the recap. I love that in the recaps, they always find a way to to include them. And then you watch the episode and you're like, that didn't come up. Not related. That didn't come I, up I wonder at if all. There's like a quota or like a joke in the editing bay. Like, got to include one. Yeah. There, there's like, look out. Look out for the D. <laughs> Censored myself. And there's uh, Josh Hartnett's slander. Oh, deep. This needs to stop. He's, Dude, he's back. Gr- hey, he's the Oppenheimer, a- his presence is incredible. Penny Dreadful. Also, he's that a- director clearly is not a good director. He's so his a- sense of taste. I'm just saying, like, some people think, like, he's a bad actor. He's a great black mirror. Hollywood homicide, dude. Young him and Harrison Ford buddy cop movie. He's good. The that, Faculty. Man. I mean, he's exceptional sure. in The Faculty. We just all well, need to collectively as a culture let Pearl Harbor go. <laughs> it's just for all one of us. Movie. Yeah. For yeah. All it's of just us. one movie. For Ben, <laughs> for Michael Bay's sake, for Hartnett, yeah. for, for Kate Beckinsale, for everybody. Man, Andy Leibowitz joke was great too. That was solid. <laughs> that was a really that was a really four or five people in LA joke and yeah. I appreciated it. I was that all was on Kate's side until uh, innocent humans started dying. Then it was like oh. Yeah, someone's gotta be the villain. Well damn it. I mean, yeah. Maybe she can maybe maybe she can have a redemption. And then Butcher, uh, I guess the last thing with Butcher is gonna be Things gonna. F- I don't know where they're being held. I'm surprised they kept them alive at all. Oh yeah, I'm wondering if they're just studying the them. And I want to keep them. I want to control them in some way. They're always out for mind control. Yeah, or to like you know like find a way to extrapolate like, their DNA and powers. Yeah, what if we could make a version of V that just gives you a specific power so you could choose or something? Or put them through a trial maybe to make a public you know spectacle of it. It's gonna be a saw game. Yes, <laughs> but I definitely see Butcher being, you know, and maybe they could have him investigate that area and, and cause some ramification in the boys. I could see it that way, or I could just see them starting the season with the effects of this being already established. Like, this could be literally picking up the minute Damn, or, you we know, We won't get later. boys season four for a long time, though, huh? I guess probably not. I thought, and I think it's shot. They just had, they're, the Kripke said they're not going to air it until the strike's over. I think it's done. I think that, no, they won't even do like ADR and any of that, right? Oh, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, but that'd probably be like a month. So, once the strike's over, maybe within a few Let months. Let me just get it in a couple months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just, just release it. Day strike. I, you think Amazon's going to be like, let's not move things around for the boy? I think as soon as, <laughs> yeah. I think as, soon as they can. It's their most reliable thing, especially since they've already greenlit, they greenlit season two, season two like partway through the airing cycle. So, Rings of Power is their most big thing. Oh, totally. Yes, there it is. Their most expensive property. Yeah. Everyone cannot wait for season two. Of. <laughs> All righty, Eventually. guys. Well, what did you think about? Sorry to cut you off, John. Did you have more to say there? I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. You were talking. I cut you off. It's okay. Please. Did you but here, let that? me come up with another point. <laughs> <laughs> right. Find a sentence. A rich episode. Uh, Gen V finale. What did you guys think about it? Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave your comments down below. Debate. Are you Team Kate? Are you Team Homelander? Which team are you on? <laughs> team Marie. I was weirdly excited to see Homelander show up. Yep. That was a great moment. Well, that's the thing about Homelander. You, you can't wait to see him, and you know that as soon as you do, something real bad going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He's going to challenge your sensibilities. It's like, I don't even like love to hate him. 
I love him. Even though I'm aware he's the worst. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, it's odd. a good villain. It just is like he is the worst human. The worst. No, 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 yeah. I mean, he's the worst person. Well, but I love him. <laughs> yeah. And I can't <laughs> wait to see him get his, but I hope it doesn't happen for a while because I just want to keep watching yeah, the depths of his. Whatever the boy seems like. The, oh my God. Are you going to kill him? Please don't. I love watching him. Well, Even though the, I hate him. But I don't hate him. I love him. I don't know what it is. That's about. the conundrum. Is He's you, America's ass. He's until, America's ass. Until the show ends, you cannot kill him. Oh, please. Yeah. And they should do it like from the comics. Where, um, you know, Black Noir is just well, I mean, they, pretending that's, to be him. That doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I think they totally got rid work. of that twist. I think they should totally do it. They bring back that twist even with the events of season three. Well, Sam has the same you know, sort of cartoon you know puppet the, thing. Do you know the boy's ending? comics it's brilliant yeah it's genius but uh, they've it's changed genius. enough. absolutely that. genius it's a hundred percent headed that direction yeah i was like what i'm no, like i'm saying, saying you sam just rewatched has, it i'm like did i miss something sam huge? has the same puppet cartoon <laughs> fantasies so he can become there's, the new black noir and then he can pose as homeland <laughs> there's no way in hell this, i was like this is gonna end the way i kept repeating did. in my head because you were so sarcastically sincere that i was like did i miss something no, there's no way. This wouldn't even make sense. No, not at all. <laughs> so many twists are different. And also, Translucent will be there, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, leave your thoughts. And oh, sorry, John, I interrupted you. And Lamplighter. <laughs> well, uh, guys, what you think of the yeah. episode? <laughs> Just leave your comments down below, and we'll catch you for The Boys Season 4 tomorrow when Amazon finishes <laughs> and puts it out.